Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the White Tails Dynasty in Camp Randall Stadium as you get to see round number three of the Wisconsin and Wisconsin State rivalry. Wisconsin comes into this game ranked top 25, but they did lose a bad one last week to Virginia Tech. Number 12 in the country. They got beat down. Brad White is now their quarterback. No more Graham Mertz. Now, he is a dual threat. Not as good as Graham Mertz, though. But they do have some more skilled running backs. Bled by Nakia Watson, who is so good. He's 95 overall. He's an awesome talent at running back. And then their defense is nothing to sneeze at as they are headed by Jack Sanborn on defense. He is a senior at 96 overall. So let's hop straight into this action. Here is the first throw of the game out to the right side. That's Brad White finding Mustafa, his favorite receiver, who's actually number one on their depth chart. He picks up the first down. So under center, once again, here's another throw out to the right side. It's another one, Mustafa again. Back-to-back -back plays to the same exact route to the same exact guy in a first down. So here is Watson this time, breaking out to the left side. Somehow breaks through the scrum and gets pushed out of bounds by Tucker Akonkwo. But that's a gain of 25 and a first down. Handoff up the middle, back to Watson, but he's going to get tackled for a three-yard gain as they come out here in a five-wide receiver set. This time White gets up the middle, breaks a tackle by Justin Jamison and gets to about the 10-yard line, tackled by Marvin Woods from behind. So now here is Watson to the right side, and he's getting stopped this time by Zane Alexander, who was actually a way better tackler in college than he was in high school. It's pretty cool to see him progress. So now second and goal, throw out to the left side. They've got Carl Hopkins in the end zone for the touchdown in Wisconsin. Does it all, runs it, and throws it. They got a seven-point lead. So here comes this offense out onto the field for the first time this game after putting up big numbers. In game number one, here is Miller. Throw out to the right side. He's got Marlon Yarbrough. He went over 100 yards last game, remember? He went over 103 touchdowns in his first game reunited. Back with Adam Miller. So here's a throw out to the left side. There's Rodney Ross, who's one of the original guys on this team since season one. He was an original walk-on. He gets a gain of 17 from Adam Miller. So now from a second and 10, here's a handoff. This time Jabari Blaze gets to the left side. And he is a junior this season. He was one of our top recruits in season one. And he gets seven yards on that one, bringing it to a third and three. Miller throws across the middle. He's got Brett Hill, who was a transfer last year. He is technically a senior since he was a Juco junior transfer. He gets the first down. Scramming out to the right side, dumping it back across the middle. There's Adam Miller finding Bam Cameron, who fights off of a defender. Take a look at the 5'6 running back running over a defender and breaking his way up for about a gain of 15. So now inside the 20-yard line, this time Miller, he's going to run out to the middle of the field to the right side. He's going to throw, and that's Brett Hill, and that is 11 yards and another first down here on this first drive. We are driving. So here's Jacoby Beck in the game. He gets a handoff, and he's got about four yards on that one, bringing it to a third and goal at the two. Handoff, Jabari Blaze in the game. He can't fight forward. And that's a stop, and Wisconsin does get us to settle for the field goal, making it 3-7. to seven. So here's Brad White with the throw out to the right side. That's actually Hopkins again. He's going to pick up nine as they get it to a second and one now. Fullback in the game, handoff. This time Watson gets stopped in the backfield by Marvin Woods. And that brings it to a third and one as we try to send the house. Handoff, Watson stopped in the backfield. It's... Tucker Akakwo for a nice tackle, the senior leader. He was one of the original walk-ons as well, and we get them to punt the ball away. So here we come back out on the field. Great field position set up by Xavier Storm on the return. Here's a carry up the middle, and that is a gain of six. As now we get the ball at about the 50-yard line handoff up the middle, Jabari Blaze, as we move on to the second quarter. So now third and four, this time a counter play and then stopped in the backfield. This Wisconsin defense is playing well this season so far, except for that Virginia Tech game. 
And now we go for it here on the fourth and six. Throw out to the right side. It's picked off by Wild Goose, and he's going to break down the left sideline, break a tackle, and get caught from behind. And wow, we go for it. It was a risky throw, and we end up turning the ball over as here's gotcha, Brad White back out onto the field, trying to scramble out to the right side. He does get run down from Ryan Robinson, and he'll actually get credit for a sack on that one. And now that brings it to a third and eight. Here's White, throw across the middle. He's got Patterson who comes back to the ball and gets his way back upfield. And he's got a gain of 18. Wow, what a play. And a first down. So handoff to the right side. Here's Watson breaking a couple of tackles, falling forward, and somehow his momentum keeps him going forward and has a gain of seven. Handoff once again, Watson. This time he's going to get stopped by Tucker Okonkwo. And that brings it to a third and four at about the 12-yard line. Throw out to the right side. Patterson, he's going to try to fight for the first down marker, but he's going to be stopped just short. Nice tackle once again by Zane Alexander. And that brings it to a fourth inch. His handoff, fullback, touchdown, Wisconsin, Jason Smith. And Wisconsin does take the 14-3 lead. It looks just like the last game when we were down by two scores to Illinois. So here is Adam Miller back out onto the field commanding this offense. Here's a throw across the middle. He's got Brett Hill who takes a huge hit, but he holds on to that one for a gain of 16. It's a first and 10. Bam Cameron in the game. He's 5'6". Remember, he can get through those holes that a lot of running backs can't get through. He picks up a gain of six. He stays in the game. This time Miller throws to the right side. He's got Brett Hill again who's been open in this one. That is a gain of 12 as he's got four catches for 50 yards early on. So here is Jabari Blaze in the game. He gets a handoff. That is a gain of four as we're doing it both ways, running the ball and passing the ball. Here is Jacoby back in the game. Big hole up the middle. He gets tripped up at about the one-yard line, a gain of 13 and a first down. So now we do bring in Nathan Beaver at quarterback. He's familiar with that role. He falls into the end zone. And we cut this lead back to just, just four on the quarterback sneak. And now it is 14 to 10 here with two minutes left. On the next play, here is a sack that time. That's Colson Kavoris. And remember, he is a true freshman. He's in a mostly run-stopping situations, but he's got the strength to get to the quarterback even on pass, uh, passing downs as well. So here's the throw out to the left side. That's Carl Hopkins keeping his feet in bounds as they get into a third and eight. Here is White trying to scramble up the middle once again. He runs over a defender and somehow gets seven. And wow, that is almost a first down. But luckily, we get them to punt the ball away. So here's Adam Miller. Here's a throw to the left side on the next drive and that's caught across the middle. Brett Hill having himself a great first half and a first down. So now second and 10, throw out to the left side. It's gonna be Doug Johnson who's gonna fight forward and he's got about a gain of nine as we call our first time out there. And now the clock does continue to run here with 10 seconds left in the first half. Throw across the middle. It's gonna be Yarbrough, he gets tackled, but that's a nice catch, 20 yards, as we just decide to kick this field goal here. And it's gonna be good. Going into halftime, there's gonna be a one point lead here for Wisconsin. What an action field half. Both teams came out firing. This second half is gonna be a good one. So here we go to start the second half. We do have an opportunity to take the lead. Here's a throw across the middle. That's Jacoby Beck lined up at receiver and he's gonna fight forward for a gain of 10 as we get a first down to start out this first second half. So here's a throw out to the left side. That's Marlon Yarbrough breaks the tackle and he can't break free again. If he would have made that last man miss, he was off to the races. So here's Bam Cameron in the game. He's gonna get through the middle of the field and that's the thing I love about Bam Cameron. Only 5'6". He's kind of hard to see in the middle of all that scrum. This time, Jabari Blaze in the game. He has a big hole up the middle, and that is a gain of 10. As like I said, we're going to move the ball on the ground and through the air with this offense. As here is Adam Murphy. You get to see all three running backs on this drive. That's a first down. So now we get it to a second and seven here. Here's a throw out to the right side. Here's Jaco Jabari Blaze. Makes a move and gets tackled by the face mask. But the refs do not call it. They missed that one. But it's a gain of 10. Now Jacoby Beck is in the game. Here's a quick throw across the middle. That's Brett Hill, though. He's getting a gain of eight. And look at this drive. We are moving the ball at will on Wisconsin's defense. 
This time, Jacoby Beck gets in. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, two yards out. And we do take the five-point lead, and we do line up to go for two to make it a seven-point lead. Miller from the shotgun. He's going to buy some time, throw to the right side, and he saw the pressure right there and panicked and did not get the throw away cleanly. And now it is still a five-point lead as here is Watson getting the hand up on the next drive, and that's a stop that time. Zane Alexander in run-stopping situations has been superb this season. So now third and ten. Here's a screen pass out to the left side. Watson picks up a block, gets around to the left side, but not around Quintaris Jones, one of the originals on this team. We have a lot of them, and that is going to be a punt here as we have an opportunity to go up two scores. Here's Adam Miller, throw to the sideline. That's Xavier Storm finally getting involved in this game. That's his first catch of this game. So here's Jacoby Beck in the game. He's been getting busy in this one. He's got six yards to the right side. And now we move it to a second and four. Miller, four wide receivers out there this time. Throw it out to the right. Wide open. Yarbrough, a lot of room. And that's the one thing I love about this offense. I mean, all of our guys are getting catches in space. And that one is another big first down. So Miller, this time, he's going to have some time. But he gets sacked and he coughs it up. And Dietzen will catch it and scoop it and score. That is a touchdown for Wisconsin. We may have had a man open up the seam. I believe that was Xavier Storm, whoever A was on that one. And now Wisconsin takes the lead just like that. But they do go for two, and they're going to fight in. So now it is a three-point lead just like that. They take the lead. So here is Miller in this offense, backing onto the field. Throw it to the right side. That's Xavier Storm had the defender's back turned, and he comes up with the catch. Gain of 22. So now second and three. Here's a throw to the sideline. Now he's getting involved. Gain of 17. And that's the hidden thing about him is that you never know when he's going to explode for these big gains. Throw across the middle. On the next play, there's Marlon Yarbrough. A gain of 11. As you can just see, each drive, we are moving the ball really, really well. So here is Miller this time. He's going to use his legs this time and dive, and he's going to fumble. But good thing, it does fall out of bounds as you move it to about the 10-yard line on a second and one. Handoff up the middle. Blaze, another first down. Look at, just, look at the blocking on this. I just want to take a look at that blocking just on the, another play on that one. And, I mean, it's just beautiful to see this offensive line block for these running backs so far. So now we do get it to a third and goal. This time, Miller, he's going to try to get away, but the pressure is right there. Dietzen has a touchdown, two sacks. And we do kick the field goal, making it a 22-22 to -22 lead here to start the fourth quarter. So here is White under center. Hasn't had the big throwing numbers, but here's the throw out to the right side. That's a familiar play. They open up the game with that play twice. And it's another first down for Mustafa. So here's Watson up the middle, breaking a tackle. Derek Pinto breaking another one, and he's going to make it 23 yards up the field. And that Wisconsin offensive line is starting to wear down our defensive line. And now they got the ball, and they're cooking here on this drive. Watson up the middle. He finds a lane, and he's going to be gone. He throws off Nathan Beaver with the big stiff arm, and that is a big touchdown run as Wisconsin is now up by seven points. So now we have about five and a half minutes left here in this game. Our offense has been moving the ball well. Here is Miller scrambling out to the right side, trying to get away from the pressure. He does get rid of it, but it's going to be short of the first down marker. But look at Brett Hill. He actually loses ground and gets it right back, but only a gain of two. So now third and six. This time Miller, he's going to take it himself and throw on the run. He's got Brett Hill, and that's a gain of 18 inside the 35-yard line on the other side of the field. So four minutes left, throw it to left side, and that's picked off by Sandburn, and he's going to take it all the way back and get run down at about the 39-yard line. Wow, what a bad throw on that one by Adam Miller. We were driving. We got a little anxious, and here comes Wisconsin back onto the field. Watson, carry up the middle. That's a gain of 17. So now here is Wisconsin on the other side of the field. Throw to the left side. We send the pressure. It doesn't work. And that's a gain of 14 for Carl Hopkins. He's been busy. So here's a, another handoff. This time Watson breaks the tackle, but tackled from behind by Tucker Aconquo. As we do get them to settle for three points, 
But now the clock is not our friend. Under two minutes left here in the game. Down by two scores. Miller unloads, throws the ball deep. It is going to be picked off by Alston, and he is going to take this one back. And he's taking it to 37, and that one will end the game. Alston actually gets a little speed burst on that one at the last possible second. And Wisconsin goes on to win this game, this action-filled game from start to finish as Dietzen, two sacks, a fumble recovery, and that long touchdown on the scoop and score as Adam Miller actually threw three interceptions in this game. Definitely night and day from last, uh, the first game versus Illinois. But still, I mean, we were moving the ball on each drive. It just came down to some crucial throws where we just turned the ball over and it ended up being the difference as Yarbrough goes over 100 for the second straight game. Brett Hill, almost his turn to get 100 yards in this one. But man, this one hurt because this was versus a rival on the road and we have recruits here as we're kind of battling in recruiting now because we do have better recruiting talent that we're going after. So this one definitely hurt as we lose to our rival, one of them, as Nakia Watson runs for 18 carries, 125 yards, big game from him. That offensive line was wearing our D-line down all game long. As you can just see, like the difference on offense, we had 429 offense, 29 yards of offense to their only 200 and something. Look at that, even on third down, they went one for seven, but I think that turnover with the fumble recovery was the difference in this game. We did turn the ball over, throwing the ball as well, but who knows, we may not have even been throwing in that situation if we would have been up. So that's gonna do it here in this episode. We do lose this one, go into one and one into this Maryland game we have next episode. So you don't wanna miss that one. Hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it, let's go.